Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. Today I'm going to do a really beautiful modern twist on the 70s look, which has been a lot of the editorials at the minute and it's quite a requested look. I'm doing that today on my model Grace, so I'm going to start the look now. So we've already prepped the skin and I've just used a little bit of concealer on Grace as that's all she needed. And then I'm going to go straight into the eyes and I think the eye is the real key feature with this look. And I thought I would show you one of the Gucci eyeshadows in today's tutorial as I've blogged about it quite a lot recently. And I'm using this palette, which is Aristocrat, and it's taking mostly this kind of nice muted mushroom shade. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna work it in quite small, thin layers. So taking a Zoeva brush, this is the Soft Definer. Close your eyes for me, Grace. So these are really, really pigmented, these eyeshadows. Um, I just love the texture of them. They're really, really buttery. And I'm starting on the middle of the eye and then working outwards. You don't really get any kind of drop down or spill that comes down from them, which is really good. Just keep it really thin and sheer as you go towards the brow. So I'm almost just using little circular motions. Just so that it goes towards the brow, but feathering out really thin. And go back to your blending brush again. And just keep buffing that out. And then taking the Sigma Exact Blend E32, I'm going to take that same colour. If you look up for me, Grace, I'm going to take that under the eye. And I think to keep it modern, it's kind of working with mattes is a really nice look. And this is quite universal. There's ways you can kind of make this look suit anyone. You can just tailor it to your eye shape. But I'm not being very careful or precious with the colour. I'm just sort of applying it quite thickly. And close. And then again, just building that pigment up so it's quite dark at the lash line. So the next product I'm going to use is Coffee Pencil by MAC and any just nice kind of matte dark brown so you can use a cheaper product if you prefer. Just soften it on the back of your hand first and if you look up for me Grace I'm going to take that first onto the inner waterline and I'm just smudging it a little bit over the lashes as well. Again, don't really have to be too perfect with this, you can be quite messy. Have a little blink <laughs> and then look up again and then I'm just going to drag it that little bit more over the lashes so that we've got a little bit of room to smudge the pencil out a little bit. So I'm gonna use the Sigma Pencil E30 brush and just go back in with some of that Gucci eyeshadow again. And just look up, Grace. And again, just roll that over the smudged in pencil, just so it all starts to kind of merge together. And it should almost look like a sort of dirty brown. I think that's when it looks really cool. And it is one of those things, the colors kind of suit everyone as well. So then just to balance the bottom, I'm going to take the tiniest bit of brown into the roots of the eyelashes on the top lash. So if you close for me, Grace. So just using a pencil, and this is more about just kind of putting it into the roots. So I'm not really doing a line. I'm just smudging it and kind of lifting the eye and just putting little dots in between so that the lash is really, really brown and dark. And it's nice using dark browns rather than any black. It's just that little bit softer. And I think it makes it a little bit more wearable as well. So I'm just giving Grace's lashes a curl as well with a lash curler. Just to open up the eyes a little bit. Then I'm going to take Falsify HD 17 Mascara. First I'm just going to take this, I'm going to press it into the lashes on the bottom. Um, I want a good amount of mascara but I don't want it super cloggy or anything otherwise I think it becomes too 90s. But just so that all the lashes are coated. And another way that looks really good with this look is to wear no mascara at all. So if you're not into mascara or you don't want to make the look too heavy, just do the look but without mascara. So just lift the lid, make sure there's lots of mascara at the roots. In fact, I'm not even going to wiggle the wand all the way through. I'm just going to keep it. I'm just going to press it into the roots. And then before I do any more concealer, I just want to frame the eyes a little bit as well by giving Grace a little bit more of a fuller brow. So I'm gonna add some individual strokes using MAC Fling eyebrows. So I'm just gonna fill them out a little bit more. So I, I like to start on the outer corner and just build up ever so slightly with the thickness. I'm still following Grace's natural shape, but I am gonna fill them out quite a bit so that still natural looking, but a bit fluffier and fuller and I'm just using individual brush strokes. So just keep brushing them out with like a mascara wand or something, and you can see the difference there, just having one a little bit more full, it kind of really complements the dark eye. So for concealer, I'm just taking a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that I used 
just where needed on the skin, just a little bit under the eyes. I'm just patting that in with a NARS brush. And for a cheaper alternative, you could use the L'Oreal True Match. I really like those concealers. I'm just patting that in really, really gently, just under the eye. Now you don't want to take away where the eyeshadow has come down, so you still want to leave it nice and dark under the eye. So what I tend to do is after I've done the concealer, I then go back with the brush that I use to blend. So I go back to the pencil brush and then just with what's left on the brush again, just make sure that's nice and the, just make sure the eyeshadow is still there. So I'm going to use another high-end product, guys, but I also have a substitute for something that is cheaper. I wanted to show you in this video some of the Gucci products, because I think they're really beautiful. And this is the Gucci lipstick, which is in Audacious. And I think, again, to keep it casual and nude, this is quite a dark nude, which is why I really like it for a 70s look. I'm just going to use my finger, and I'm just going to blot that onto Grace's lips, so that it's not, again, too done, too perfect. And I really like the colour of this nude. It's a little bit more brownie pink. So for a cheaper alternative, Sleek do this really good palette where you actually get four colours and you can use this one here. This one here is really, really similar. If I put them together, you can see they're a really similar colour match. And then just to finish, I'm going to take a little bit of Rimmel Stay Matte just on an art shop brush and I'm just going to put a little bit on the T-zone. And I don't want kind of any highlighter in this look or anything shimmery, just the tiniest bit of powder just to mattify in the T-zone. And I really like this look, not having any bronzer, any contour, any blush. I think it literally is just about the eyes and it definitely makes it more sort of runway to reality. And so that's the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoy that look. Make sure you send me pictures at Harry Makes It Up on Twitter or Instagram if you try the look out yourself. And don't forget, hashtag Harry Make Me Up is now open again as well. So if you want to be sat where Grace is now, you could be my next model. So I hope to see you soon, guys, and have a good week.